How's it going guys? I've got some Transformers War for Cybertron gameplay going on. It is Team Deathmatch on, honestly, I don't know what map. I don't recognize them, and I don't remember what the screen just said, so... I guess if you know the game, you'll recognize it, and if you're not really a fan of the game, I don't know why you're watching this video, but if you're watching it anyway, then your guess in the map is as good as mine. Um... This is the first video I've posted from the actual game. I did have one a while ago from the multiplayer demo when that was out, and that gave pretty much my opinions and stuff like that, and a little bit of a description. So if you want to know my opinions on everything, you can go watch that since they really haven't changed much from that demo, except for maybe I do like the game even more than I did when the demo was out. So uh, that's always good. Um, I am playing Team Deathmatch, and that's mostly because it's the only game mode you can find a game in. There's not very many people who play this now. I think last time I got on, it said there was like 750 people playing, and I think there was 150 people playing in Team Deathmatch or something like that, and the rest of them I think didn't... All the other game modes didn't have more than 10 people, which doesn't really add up unless that 750 includes people playing the campaign, which would make sense. But I actually, apart from when I started replaying this just a couple days ago, haven't played the multiplayer since I think the first or second day the game came out because I actually focused so heavily on the campaign when I was playing. Um, most of my friends... In fact, all of my friends don't have this game, so I wasn't able to hop online with them, so I just played the single player and played the games that they actually have multiplayer. So I am a very low level. I, when I first started, I think my highest character was at 4 out of 25. So, uh, yeah, when I first started, I was definitely getting destroyed a lot, but... Every now and then I'll have a game like this where I like to think I just got get pretty lucky. I think I actually start this game off with a 15 kill streak, which is extremely unusual for me. I, I think one of the reasons I do so good is just because I think I'm up against players who honestly don't play very much. But I could be wrong. I could just get real lucky, which is possible. It's kind of interesting. You can... You can really tell the people who play this, like, either every day or at least a lot more often than I do. And you can almost guess that there's people who play it as, about as often as I do because they're as bad as I am. And I like to imagine that they're not so terrible that they play every game, but they're still as bad as me anyway. So, yeah, but it, it's, it's still pretty fun. Um... I guess I'll talk to you about the uh, character I'm rocking here. It is a uh, Scout, which for those of you who don't know, uh, the Scout is kind of the small guy in this game. He is the one who rocks like the sniper rifle, and he also has a shotgun, and by that I mean my Scout does. You can give him different weapons, but yeah, I've got him rocking a shotgun and a sniper rifle. And the two abilities that I gave him were the dash so I can quickly dodge and the uh, cloak which allows you to turn invisible for a short period of time. And then the power-ups I gave them, I, I'm not sure if I remember all of them, but uh, I've got Surprise Attack, which allows me to do more damage when I decloak. So I can get behind them, decloak, and then my sh gun's going to be stronger. And then I've got, I don't remember what it's called, the one that allows me to run faster. And the third one, I honestly just, I don't remember what it was at all. So, uh, again, apologize for that. And if you're watching this video and you're actually good at this game, you can probably tell that I'm, I'm not. So, uh, but, you know, I think, I think this game, this game in general, it's just such a fast paced game that it can be pretty entertaining to watch. I think it helps that if you're not near anyone, you can usually transform to your vehicle mode and get to the enemy pretty quick if you know where they are. And the maps aren't huge, and there's a lot of wide open areas. So, I mean, you can see where people are from a long distance away, so you can 
do what you can to get over to them. And it, it's kind of funny to me because most third-person shooters are generally cover-based games. And this is just by no means a cover-based game. I, I think someone told me when it first came out that it was supposed to be. But if that's true, they did a really bad job with that because... Honestly, it seems like even the people who play this game a lot do the same thing and just run right at you shooting you. The only difference is they're actually good at it. So, But yeah, there's little to no cover in this game. And that kind of makes sense because if you think about it, you're giant robots. And seeing giant robots attempting to take cover, it's pretty entertaining. And I, I know... The fact that they're giant robots, so that means the walls and stuff are huge too. But it's just the idea that giant robots trying to take cover. It's not very effective. Um, I guess the reason I'm not running right at them, though, is because, like I said, I am rocking like the small guy. And that means he does have a less health than a lot of the other classes. I think the scientist is the only one which has less health than him and the scientist is the guy who turns into the uh, flyers so they're the ones flying around and here I am going right after them you taking advantage of the fact that the sh shotgun does more damage as soon as I decloak so but at this point it's just kind of spray and pray and get lucky and that's how a lot of my firefights turn into and I, I should mention that Throughout this whole game, I was kind of getting yelled at to take care of some stuff for my mom. So, if you see me, like, pause it randomly, then that's why. Because she was get because I was wanting to wait until the end of the game. She was like, do it now. So, she was getting real frustrated. And that actually uh, causes me to quit the game early. So, uh, and this is where I actually had a little bit of a brain fart, which sucked because... For some reason, I still had that Call of Duty mindset where I was thinking, like, 75 kills to win. So I saw that we had, like, 39. And I was like, well, I'm not going to have time to finish this game. So I quit. And right after I quit is when I remembered, we only need 40 kills to win. We were one kill away, and I quit the game, lose all the experience I gained. And I actually had such a good game that I actually... Would have gotten quite a bit of XP, so I was kind of mad at myself at that point. But, anywho, uh, one thing I do really like about the game, or at least this scout kit, is that it does let you use both the sniper rifle and the shotgun. So, it allows you to either sit back and try to snipe, or cloak up, get close to them, and do as much damage as you can. This game really lets you play the way you want. It lets you pick a kit that caters to your play style and lets you exploit pretty much every ability and power up that you can. Uh, that was a be really bad way of saying it, but I mean, it, it kind of fits. Guys, I really apologize. I'm sure this commentary is just terrible. It's like I said, I've never done a commentary over this game, so first try here, so cut me a break. Uh, the reason that guy was glowing blue is he has an overshield, which obviously means he had more health. And I guess I should explain a few things for the people who don't play this one very much and who haven't gone and watched my multiplayer demo video there are four classes there's scout and scientist which I kinda already mentioned and then there's leader and soldier soldier is gonna be the guy with the heavy weapons the most health and pretty much he's just you know brute strength leader is in, in my opinion kinda like that his weapons aren't quite as strong he doesn't have quite as much health I think but he does have abilities that help out the entire team. Obviously, a leader wants to help the team, so he has like war cry and stuff where he uses that, and the people around him all get like a weapon boost and stuff. So, really, each class has its strengths. And 
like I said, you can really play to what you want. I wouldn't say any one class is better than another. Uh, the way I play, I generally really prefer to use the scout just because I like being able to run faster. And really, that's about all I'm going to say on this commentary because if, if I try to just ramble on now, it's going to sound real bad. So I guess I'll let you watch the rest of this video in peace. There's not much left to it, but you'll get to see me quit like an idiot. So that's always entertaining. Guys, have fun. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And hope to see you guys later.